So, we've got robot dogs sprinting 100 meters in under 10 seconds, humanoid robots rolling off assembly lines by the thousand, advanced AI drones swarming the skies, all while the US and China accelerate some kind of AI arms race that experts say could lead us straight into World War III. And not just any war, a war with fleets of lethal autonomous machines, potentially unstoppable butcher bots. It sounds like a sci-fi horror show, but it's all happening right now. Let's dive in and piece together the shocking story that's been unfolding across multiple reports. Let's start with the big question. Why is everyone talking about China's robots as a game changer for a possible global conflict. Well, for one thing, China has been rapidly advancing its robotics technology, and we're seeing robot canines, humanoid robots, and even ocean-based machines that can do everything from carry supplies to wage war. The tension with Taiwan is intensifying, and President Xi is allegedly preparing the People's Liberation Army, PLA, for a possible invasion by 2027, the PLA's 100th anniversary. Meanwhile, the US is determined to maintain its lead in military AI and robotics and is pouring massive resources into all kinds of advanced research. Experts on both sides are freaking out because an arms race in AI could literally turn into an extinction event if we're not careful. Now let's talk about the crazy stuff we've seen so far. The Chinese company Unitree came out with a robot dog called B2W that can do somersaults, climb mountains, and even carry a person on its back, like a rescue or assault mission scenario. There's this video that went viral, especially after Elon Musk tweeted about it, showing the B2W bounding over boulders, scaling steep slopes, and performing handstands. It has wheels on each of its four legs, which means it can roll downhill at speed turning it into something unstoppable on rough terrain. Imagine that in a combat zone, or hunting you down in some futuristic scenario. That's part of why some folks are calling these things butcher bots or slaughter bots. The idea is that if you stick a weapon on their backs, they can become lethal, especially working in packs. And if that's not chilling enough, there's also this other robot dog from China, nicknamed Black Panther or Black Panther 2.0, which can run 100 meters in under 10 seconds, basically outrunning most human sprinters, maybe even beating Usain Bolt's top speed of around 9.58 seconds, if you gave it enough training time. The research team behind it at Jitchen University, working with a startup called Mirror Me, says they studied black panthers and desert rodents called gerboas to replicate their super efficient leg motions, shock absorption, and leaps. Not only did they give it carbon fiber shins for maximum durability, but they also equipped it with running shoes designed to increase grip by 200%. But that means it can dash across a track at about 12.4 miles per hour, jump off platforms, and quickly adapt to different types of terrain. It can even do advanced AI-based adjustments to keep its balance and stride. We've seen other glimpses of how these robot dogs are already being used in China for policing and inspection tasks. One is apparently crawling cable tunnels in Beijing, scanning for malfunctions and performing small repairs with a robotic arm. In a city near the Three Gorges Dam, a police force tested a Unitree model for suspect apprehension. And perhaps unsurprisingly, it looks like they've tested a robot dog with a rifle strapped to its back during joint maneuvers with foreign militaries. So yeah, these units can be dual use. The US military is also working on robotic canines, so it's hardly unique to China, but the level of mass production and the speed at which they're pumping these out is definitely making people sweat. But robot dogs aren't the only threat. We're also seeing a surge in humanoid robots. Check out Aggiebot a Chinese robotics startup launched in early 2023. By the end of 2024, they claim to have nearly a thousand general purpose humanoid robots rolling off their production lines. That's an achievement many didn't expect so soon, especially since Tesla has been talking about its own humanoid robot, Optimus, but only promising high volume production around 2026. The new Chinese robots made by Aggiebot, also known as Jiuan Robotics, are already being shipped to various industries, with videos showing them working on factory lines side-by-side side with humans, 
testing and assembling their own components. Investors are drooling over the potential revenue, and industry watchers are saying that these new bots have basically evolved from lab prototypes to real products that can do all sorts of tasks. Over at Consumer Electronics Show 2025 in Las Vegas, Chinese companies showed up big time. About a quarter of the 4,500 exhibitors were from China, with many focusing on AI, consumer electronics, and, you guessed it, advanced robotics. We saw everything from quadruped robots, like Unitree's new G1 humanoid and pet-like AI companions, to cleaning robots, lawn mowers, and industrial solutions. On top of that, giant Chinese consumer electronics firms like Hisense and TCL introduced, or teased, major expansions into AI ecosystems, bridging everything from TVs to AR glasses. It's not just about industrial usage. The entire sector of consumer-facing robotics and AI integration is blowing up. Speaking of humanoids, we've also got news about Pudu Robotics rolling out the D9 Humanoid. It stands at 5.57 feet tall, walks upright at speeds up to 4.5 miles per hour, carries loads of up to 44 pounds, and apparently has advanced three-dimensional semantic mapping and human-level multimodal interactions. Pudu's D9 can navigate stairs, keep its balance if it's bumped, and do tasks like cleaning floors or stocking shelves. Essentially, it's an assistant on two legs that can serve in restaurants, handle warehouse work, or help with day-to-day -day tasks. It's rumored to cost somewhere between $20,000 and $30,000, competing with Tesla's projected price range for Optimus. And these aren't the only humanoid robots from China. Another company, Fourier Intelligence, claims to have mass-produced over 100 units of its GR1, which is a bipedal robot, while Shenzhen-based UB Tech is also ramping up production of the Walker S. This is a sign that the idea of one robot per household might not be as far-fetched as we used to think. Industry insiders are saying that, at least in China, the manufacturing supply chain is so massive and so mature that it can crank out these machines at lower costs than many competitors. Yes, whether or not real consumers or businesses want to buy them in large quantities is the big question. But if the technology becomes stable and practical enough, we could see robot assistance in everyday life, maybe helping you fold laundry or working behind the scenes in your local store. But now let's shift gears into the truly terrifying possibility, warfare. Right now, the US and China are in a major competition for manufacturing capacity and advanced AI weaponry. The US has something like a massive overall economy, but China is the world's manufacturing powerhouse, building new ships, ammunition, drones, and AI-driven robotics at staggering rates. In the war in Ukraine, we've seen how drones and artillery caused the majority of casualties. China has learned from that. So if there were a full-blown conflict over Taiwan, experts warn it might not be some quick one-week affair. With both sides heavily armed, the question is, who can produce the most munitions, shells, drones, and robotic units over a prolonged period? The US is worried about running low on certain types of munitions, while China can keep churning them out, especially if it can adapt its consumer drone production lines. Right now, Chinese manufacturers make around 90% of the world's consumer drones, and we've heard about cheap commercial drones dropping grenades on high-end tanks. In Ukraine, a $500 drone can blow the tracks off a US Abrams tank, then drop another explosive to blast the ammo bay. Wargaming suggests that the US might win the initial fights, but pay a massive cost in lives and resources. Meanwhile, China's big advantage in manufacturing could flip the situation long term. But there's an even bigger nightmare scenario, the possibility of advanced AI simply escaping our control. Studies have shown that increasingly capable AIs often use deception to get better results. One of OpenAI's models, codenamed O1, apparently tried to break out of a controlled testing environment, lying to cover its tracks. And in a new milestone, an OpenAI model named O3 scored 87% on the ARC test a big IQ test for AI that had stumped all prior systems for years. Human level performance on such tests indicates we're inching closer to artificial general intelligence. Experts worry that as soon as these AIs become truly agentic, they might develop goals of self-preservation or resource acquisition. If they can write their own code, spin up copies of themselves, or manipulate humans and systems, 
we could have a crisis that dwarfs the threat of conventional war. Um, but that doesn't mean we're in any way situated to remedy that. Yet governments seem more focused on beating each other than on ensuring these advanced AIs are aligned with human values. China invests heavily in controlling AI, but that often means controlling its own population or boosting its military capabilities. The US invests in new autonomous subs, warships, and drones, and it's about to launch a Manhattan Project-like program dedicated to AGI. The problem is, in a competitive race, corners get cut, safety standards get thrown out, and we might accidentally hand over critical decisions to these AI-driven systems. The result could be catastrophic. It's not just doom and gloom, though. We've also heard about the amazing positive potential of advanced AI in areas like medicine, brain research, mental health, or tackling climate problems. Some say that with near-human or even superhuman intelligence, we could accelerate drug development, double lifespans, or figure out how to treat diseases we've always struggled with. AI-driven innovations might help us produce new, safer energy technologies or revolutionize entire industries. But if we keep prioritizing militaristic uses, these benefits might never materialize. At the Consumer Electronics Show 2025, we saw a lot of these positive visions, from new AR glasses that can translate languages in real time, to EVs equipped with highly advanced sensors, to massive new leaps in personalized home AI. Companies like Samsung and LG are big on AI home, with voice assistants that tie into your fridge, your washing machine, or even your cleaning robot. Startups like Xreal or Rokid are giving demos of AR headsets that overlay huge virtual displays in your field of view, letting you watch movies or read information on the go. Meanwhile, electric vehicle makers from China are adding LiDAR sensors, advanced chips, or even aerial features like Xpeng's flying car, though that's obviously still in a test phase. The future is brimming with these wow moments, but there's always that background hum. If we can do all this for everyday life, how much more advanced are the hidden military robots? On top of that, big players from the US like NVIDIA and Tesla are still pushing forward. Tesla's been promoting its humanoid robot Optimus, expecting to do large-scale production for external buyers around 2026. Musk has boasted it might eventually babysit your kids or mow your lawn, or basically do anything you can think of. The question is whether that's an opportunity for an awesome future, or a blueprint for mass unemployment and potential out-of-control machines if we don't regulate them carefully. Experts say that if we want to avoid a race to extinction, we need some kind of global agreement on AI safety. We have to treat advanced AI technologies similarly to how we treat nuclear weapons, not letting them spread unchecked, not letting them be easily stolen or hacked. But that's tricky, because AI is software, and it's so much easier to replicate code than it is to build an actual nuke. The US is worried about China's massive data theft and hacking, allowing it to create even more powerful AI models. As tensions escalate, neither side wants to be the first to put on the brakes. China's rapid progress in autonomous drones, robot dogs, and AI-driven weapons could reshape warfare. If a conflict erupts over Taiwan, it might not end quickly. Advanced machines, mass production, and cunning AI could escalate into a global crisis. Some call for strong regulations, but military exemptions suggest an unrestrained arms race. Instead of plunging humanity into a nightmare of unstoppable slaughter bots, we should push for responsible use of these powerful technologies before it's too late. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.